Hey guys, so in this tutorial we are going to have a, uh, have a look at the method respond to. So we will look at where do we use respond to and how should we use it. So many a times you have an object in your coding. Whenever you code you have some object and you want to know like okay I'm going to call this method on this object but I'm not sure whether this we I mean I can call this method on this object or not. Okay, so respond to is a method that is provided so that you can check okay a given method can you call that method upon that object or not so suppose I have an object one one is an integer and I want to call like uh, can I call this method say hi then I will use this method like a dot respond to question mark and then say hi so it returns false. It means there is no method named say underscore high for a which is an integer. So there is no method which you can call on one of this name say underscore high. So whenever you are in doubt there is an object and you want to know like okay can I call this method on this object or not you will use this respond to. So you will call it like this is your object on which you will call your method so this is the typical structure so this will be your object variable and then you will call this method respond to then space column the name of the method and this is the way you will kind of get a true or false value and you will get to know okay so like strings have a method called upcase this is your string and you can call this method upcase okay now suppose you are not sure like if there is any method called upcase then how will you get to know you will use respond to and then you will give the name of the method as, uh, as its argument so this returns true but suppose you check it like this if, if there is any method called uppercase which is not then you get here false so anytime you can change you can check this so rather than you use a method you call a method on any object and then you get your error you can check it before calling that method so this tool I mean this method respond to can come very handy at times in your coding so you can always put a check before you are going to call that method on your object you can always put a check like okay if this method responds to I mean if this object responds to this method only then I'm going to call this method on this object okay so respond to is something that you will use when you want to check that a given method can be called upon your given object okay so this is a very neat method to know it and this is very helpful in your Ruby or Rails programming so that was all just wanted to share this thank you very much